You are listening to the Free to Be Mindful podcast, which provides bite-sized tips for busy parents, educators, and anyone working with kids. These real talk conversations focus on mindful living, mental health, and personal growth, helping all to learn, grow, and inspire with mindfulness in mind. I'm your host, Vanessa De Jesus Guzman, educator, licensed professional counselor, entrepreneur, and mom. I'm passionate about helping folks live life with peace of mind and ease of heart while not losing their, well, you know, here we go. Have you ever tried to practice meditation, but have no idea if it's working or even if you're doing it right? Wouldn't it be awesome if there was something to let you know when you're in the zone to let you know to do more of that? Well, there is something that does exactly that. It's called Muse. Muse is a brain sensing headband that helps you find more calm, sharper focus, and better sleep. It does this by measuring your brain waves and lets you know exactly when you're in a meditative state. It's an awesome tool for kids and for adults alike. You can get 15% off any Muse product by clicking the link in the show notes below. Check them out at choosemuse.com. And again, don't forget to use that link for 15% discount at checkout. Hello and welcome back. So last week's episode was all about the search for perfection and how we so often want to meet perfection, but at what cost should we hold ourselves to these high expectations that sometimes others in society places on us, but other times expectations that we place on ourselves. And so that got me to thinking How can we ease up on these expectations we have of ourselves if we don't ask for help? With kids, we get used to tending to their every need since they're always asking, can you help me? Can you do this for me? I need some help, right? And as a former second grade teacher, I remember I used to get so many questions from how do you spell this to can you tie my shoelaces that I remember I used to say, ask three before asking me. So they knew how to use your resources. And somewhere on our life journey, some of us get weary of asking for help. And that can be for a number of reasons. Some of us see asking for help as a sign of weakness, We may think that we're bothering others if we ask them for help. And as an Enneagram type three, which I've mentioned to you before, and by the way, if you don't know Enneagrams, they are nine different numbers that are used to describe personalities. And I am a type three. And type threes are described as achievers and success-oriented, ambitious, driven, and image conscious. And as a type three, we may not want to come across as incompetent, which may be a reason of why we sometimes do not ask for help. And for those who are type A, we may just be afraid of giving up control or that someone else isn't going to do something as well as we can do that something. Some of us don't ask for help because we have a lack of assertiveness or a lack of know-how of how to ask. Sometimes it comes down to negative past experiences. And other times, my friends, it comes down to simple pride. And why does this happen? Well, it's more than just saying, can you help me? I think when we ask for help, we're also acknowledging and somehow or another, we're stating, I have a challenge that I can't figure out or do on my own. And is it okay to ask for help? Absolutely. And not only is it okay, it's also super important. It helps with the relationships that we have in our lives. It helps us understand that more heads are better than one sometimes. Teams are better than working individually at times. It helps us with growth mindset, with knowing that we're always evolving and that we learn from our mistakes and that we can also learn from asking for help 
and we can learn from others. And overall, asking for help improves our mental health because when we have help, we're less stressed and we're less overwhelmed. Many of us fall into the category where we just don't ask for help. I always try to remember that all actions are rooted in emotion. And when I think of, well, why don't we ask for help? What emotion is that rooted on? Well, sometimes we may not want to change. That's a challenge thought. And other times we just don't wanna feel judged. Sometimes not asking for help is rooted in pride, sometimes in fear, and other times in even not knowing how to ask for help. We must keep in mind who we're asking for help from. Is it someone who is capable and willing? And willingness is an important piece here. Really think if when you're asking for help, if you're asking the help from those who maybe just aren't willing to help, and then reflect on if there's an underlying reason for that. So let's be thoughtful in the way that we do ask for help. Let's use the word can. Can you help me? Which obviously we're asking if they're able to help. Could you help me? We're asking, is it possible for others to help? And then we can also ask, would you help me? Meaning, are you willing to help? We can also say, would you mind? Can you lend me a hand? Can you help me out for a second? And friends, I know this is tough. I myself haven't really conquered all the aspects of asking for help for a variety of different reasons, but sometimes I just don't wanna be a bother to others. But we must remember that there are those who love us and there are those who want to serve others because they need to make a living too. So how do we conquer this aspect of asking for help? Here are a few steps that can help. First, reflect and write down what exactly is it that you need help with. We want to make sure that we really specify it so that when we are asking, we are able to answer specific questions and we can tell them exactly what we need help on. We must also remember to trust others. So think of someone you know who will give you really good help and just ask. You may get more than you ask for in a good way. We must also learn how to speak up and how to be assertive. And yes, it can sometimes be a challenge depending on your personality, but take a deep breath and go for it. And of course, most important, we must remember to be gracious afterwards for the help that we received. The distinguished author and therapist, Brene Brown, has been quoted to say, if you cannot ask for help without self-judgment, you cannot offer help without judging others. And really reflect on that for a moment. We must let go of the aspect of judging our own selves in order to ask for help and understand that if someone is asking us for help to also let that judgment go. Let's let go of the aspect of judgment and offer others and offer ourselves kindness for that is an aspect of mindfulness and mindful living too. So right now, regardless of where you are or what you're doing, begin to bring awareness to your breath. And for today, 
breathe whatever way works for you. As you take a breath in, say in. And as you breathe out, say out. This is called using an anchor word. And when we use anchor words, it helps to keep our minds in the current moment. And for this exercise, it will also help us to let go of any judgment we may be holding on to. Now picture yourself looking in a mirror. And if you can actually look in the mirror right at this moment, that would be great. Imagine or actually see yourself looking at your toes, then your calves, up to your legs, your hips, your stomach, chest, hands, arms, neck, and face. Take all of you in without judgment. As you look at yourself in this mirror or imagine yourself looking in a mirror, say to yourself, I am capable. I am strong. I know I can. And go as far as filling in the blank. I know I can be a good person. I know I am a good person. I know I can be a good parent. I know I am a good parent. I know I can be a good professional. I know I am a good professional. As you think of these important aspects of your life, which make you, you, think of an area where you need help. Is it in the area of parenting? Is it for a passion project? Is it work? Or do you just need help fitting in a break? And as these thoughts enter your mind, again, breathe in and say in as you breathe. And as you let your breath go, say out. And along with that, also let judgment go. Now, think of someone who may help you, who may help you in this area that you have identified and practice asking them in your mind right now, or if you can, even out loud. Could you give me a hand? I would appreciate it if. I really need your help on blank. And then of course, the most important part, we cannot forget to say thank you. Not only to those who lend us their time, their expertise, their service and energy, but also thank yourself. Thank yourself for acknowledging when you need help, for assertively and graciously asking for help, and for trusting that others can indeed help. Remind yourself to take off the pressure to remove the expectation, and again, to let the judgment go. Remind yourself that you are worthy of the help you receive and of the help that you can give others. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. It would mean a ton if you took this moment to review the Free To Be Mindful podcast on the platform you catch your favorite shows. That quick and easy act lets me know what you enjoy and it helps others find the podcast too. 
And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you can listen along next week. In the meantime, I welcome you to catch me on social media at Counselor V De Jesus. And as always, remember, in a world where you are free to be anything that you want to be, you are always free to be mindful. Catch you next week.